Hi everyone, welcome back to our day three learning about capacity. Today the big question is, can two containers look completely different but have the same capacity? So that's the question that we want to figure out today. So, and I'm not going to answer that question for you, but what your job is to do is first go and find two containers that are different but here's the trick at the very bottom where it says three so this one says 341 milliliters and I'm comparing it to this container which is 398 milliliters so those are almost the same they're pretty close I couldn't find two containers that are the exact same but if you can find two containers that are the exact same but look different okay so this one's shorter sorry shorter wider this one's taller thinner they have almost the same measurements at the bottom so is it possible that two different size containers could hold the same exact capacity and I do want to point out if you find something that says 300 grams and you find something that says 300 milliliters, that's okay to use too because they equal the exact same when they're measured out. Okay, so what you're going to do is get your two containers that you find that show the same measurements at the bottom and you're going to make a chart today in your notebook. And I've drawn a picture of my corn right here and I labeled it corn. I drew the picture and then I wrote the measurement underneath 341 milliliters. Then I got my container of peas. I wrote, I drew a picture, I labeled it peas, and then I wrote 398 milliliters. Now what I want to do is estimate first, so I'm going to write estimate and then actual. Okay. So what is my estimate for how many scoops, and I'm using noodles again today, how many scoops the corn will hold, how many scoops the peas will hold, I'll write my estimate there, and then underneath I'm going to write the actual. Okay, so my first job will be to count out again. My first job will be to estimate. So how many scoops do I think the corn holds? And how many scoops do I think the peas are going to hold? Because the measurements at the bottom are the same, and because they're two different sizes, which one do I think is going to hold more? Which one do I think is going to hold less? And you need to record those measurements down in the estimate. I'm not gonna do the measurements today because I don't wanna give away the answer. Is it possible that two different looking containers can have the exact same capacity. Okay, so that's your job to figure that out today. And then at the very bottom, after you've done all your measuring, you need to write the answer to that question under here. So um, you will write something like this. Two different looking or different shaped containers can or cannot have the same capacity. Okay, so that's your big question to solve today. Can two different looking or two different shaped containers with almost the exact same measurements have the same capacity as each other. Okay, good luck. I can't wait to see all your math work this week.